Hello everyone, in our last OIC video, we created the integration to upload the supplier into Oracle ERP cloud using the FBDA process. Now in this video, we will create the callback integration for the supplier FBDA. Now if you didn't watch that video, please do watch first. You will find the link in the description. Now let's start. Now what is the use of callback integration? Let's understand that. So the callback integration is used if we want to get the status of the overall FBDA process or the status of the each individual ESS jobs as well as if you want to get the data which is created or which is failed along with the reason then we can create the callback integration and using that callback integration we can get all these details. So this is the integration INTG007 that we have created for the supplier upload. Now we have to edit this integration and we have to check one callback checkbox. Now in the last part of this integration you can see we are using the Oracle ERP cloud adapter connection to upload the supplier into the Oracle ERP cloud. So I will edit this action. Now click on continue, continue and here you can see a callback checkbox is there. So we have to check this checkbox to enable the callback. Now continue and finish. Now save this integration. Now we are done with this integration and now we have to create our callback integration. Now for the callback integration, we need the Oracle ERP cloud adapter trigger connection. But in our last video, we have created the Oracle ERP cloud adapter invoke connection. So you can see ERP cloud 001, which is invoke connection that we have created in our last video. So we'll delete this connection and create a new connection that will be both trigger and invoke. The invoke one will be used for our main integration and the trigger one will be used for our callback integration. So I'll delete this connection. I'll click on this three dot and click on delete. But as this connection is used by the main integration, we cannot delete it. So first of all, we have to delete the integration and then we have to delete the connection and create the new connection. So I'll go to integration and delete the integration first. But before that, we'll take a export of this integration so that we can import it after creating the new connection. Now you can ready to delete it. Now we'll go to connections and delete these connections. Now it is deleted successfully. Now we'll create the new connection. So I search with ERP cloud. So this is the adapter. We'll put the name as ERP cloud 001. And now we'll choose the role trigger and invoke both. Now create it. Now we'll provide our cloud host and username password. So I have provided the details. Now test and save it. Now save this. Now we can see it is saved successfully. Now we'll go back and we'll import our main integration. Click on this import button and we'll import the integration that we have just exported which is INTG007. Now import it. Now it is done. Now we are ready to create our callback integration. So I'll click on create. Click on the application integration and provide the name as INTG008. Click on create. Now here we'll use the ERP cloud adapter connection, which is ERP cloud 001. And it must be a triggered connection. So I'll click on this. 
so here i will provide the name as get supplier callback i will continue now here you can see multiple options are there so you have to choose the second option receive callback message upon completion of everyday bulk import so i will choose this now you have to select the import process name which is import suppliers so i'll select the import suppliers now i'll continue a finish save this now if we activate this integration and run the main integration to upload the supplier into oracle erp cloud then after completion of the all the processes this particular callback integration will be automatically triggered we do not have to trigger this integration and after that we'll get one zip file as a file reference with the details of all the ess jobs and if we unzip that zip file then we'll get different files to get different information regarding the supplier upload so now we need that zip file so i will add one notification activity and get that zip file using that notification so i will add the notification now in the two i will provide the email where do we want to send the zip file in the from i will provide the email id as no reply at the rate oracle.com in the subject i will provide supplier abdi callback file in the body i will provide as hi please find the attached file for supplier upload callback regards yc team then in the attachment we have to attach the zip file so that will get from this erp import bulk data event which is coming from the trigger connection of oracle erp cloud adapter so i'll expand this and here you can see summary status document id ics file and jobs under jobs you will get the details of all the ess jobs and under ics file you will get the file reference for the zip file so i'll put it here now save this now in the subject we have to put the quotation as we are getting the error now save this now we have to add one business identifier so we'll add the summary status summary status is nothing but it will provide us the overall status of the ebda process now we are ready to activate and run the main integration so i'll activate both the integrations now both the integrations are activated now i'll go to winscp and this is the folder where we kept our source file and i already provided two suppliers in this file that will be used for our testing so see supplier 106 and 107 now i'll run the main integration so i'll click on the run button so this is the process id of the ess job load interface file for import so i'll go to the oracle erp to check the ess jobs so i'll go to tools and then schedule processes and here i'll search with this particular process id
So I'll click on the hierarchy. And you can see all these three ESS job is succeeded now. And also import suppliers is succeeded. Now as the process is completed, so we'll check our callback integration, whether it is triggered or not. So as we discussed that the callback integration is automatically triggered. So we'll check that. So this is our callback integration. I'll click on this three dot and click on track instances. So you can see it is automatically triggered and the summary status is succeeded. That means the overall process is succeeded. And I'll click on the view details. So here, if you go down, you will find the process ID of all the ESS jobs. Like load file to interface, then transfer file and everything is succeeded, you can see load interface file for import, import suppliers. So everything you will find it here and the status of all the ESS jobs are succeeded. Now I'll check the email to get the zip file. So you can see this is the email that we got. Here you can find the subject as supplied every callback file and this is the body and this is the attachment of the zip file. So I'll download this. Now this is the zip file, but the extension is not there. So I'll rename this file. And I'll put as dot zip at the end of the file name. So now I'll extract this. And now here you can see the process ID of all the ESS jobs are there and you will find one file of failed records POZ suppliers INT. If you open that file, you will find all the supplier details with their status. So the two suppliers that are created are supplier 106 and 107 and these are the data that we have uploaded. And you can see the status as processed. These two files that we have uploaded uh, within a zip file, this is the properties file and this is the FBDI CSV file. Now here you can find one report is there. If you open the report, you will find the details of all the suppliers and if any supplier is not created, you will also find the reason for that in this report. But here you can see we have two suppliers and both the suppliers are successfully imported. So suppliers imported is 2, suppliers not imported is 0. And if any supplier is not imported due to any reason, then you will find the rejection reason in this particular section. Now if you go down, you will find the section where you can see the details of all the suppliers which are successfully imported. So these are the two suppliers, suppliers 106 and supplier 107 which are successfully imported and these, these are the supplier number of the suppliers. So this is how we can use the callback integration to get all the details of the FBDI process. So this is it for this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Share this video within your circle. If you have any doubts, put that in the comment section and do subscribe our channel. Thank you.